Attempting your regular workouts after drinking alcohol is a disaster waiting to happen in my opinion. And that's because in the past, when I've drunk alcohol and then gone in for my regular workout the next day, I've usually hurt myself or just had a really bad experience. Now, I barely drink alcohol anymore, and over this weekend, over Easter, I did have a little bit of alcohol for the first time this year. And today, I just feel pretty ordinary. And I've been debating whether I'm gonna do my regular workout for the last hour or two while I've just been doing a little bit of work here. And I've decided I'm not going to. I'm gonna be smart and reflect on what I've learned in the past. And the reason why is because I think a lot of people make, well, I certainly made a big mistake when I was younger, which is that, you know, if I went out and had a big night and then, and I used to have really big nights when I was younger, then I'd beat myself up the next day and think, you know, I've got to get back into my training. I have to stay on track with my goals and I'd try and push myself as hard as I normally would in my regular workouts, which never ended well. At best, I'd have a really bad experience and I'd feel even worse the next day. And in some cases, I even injured myself because it's just impossible to perform at your peak, you know, the day after you've had alcohol. So for me today, I'm just going to take a relatively cruisy, almost rest day. So all I'm going to do today is some foam rolling and some basic mobility to prepare myself for a good workout tomorrow. Because I know that if I go out and do my regular dips and pull-ups workout now, um, my body's just not capable of producing max effort. And I just don't think it's going to work out really well for me. So here's what I'm going to do on a day after drinking a little bit of alcohol. So basically everything that I'm going to be doing today is really going to be just about, you know, getting my body ready for the rest of the week. And, you know, for those of you that watch my workouts regularly you'll a lot of what i'm going to do today uh, you'll be used to i'm going to do a little bit of extra spine mobility as well though after my foam rolling and you know what i'm feeling right now what i'm experiencing is that my my lower back and my hips are extra tight you know i have spondylolisthesis in l4 and l5 and it just causes a whole lot of tightness and discomfort you know even on a good day and so on a day after you've had alcohol and which affects your sleep, which it definitely did for me, I went to bed later than I normally do. I was up with my brother and my friends, we were watching soccer and I probably didn't get to bed until about 11 p.m. on Saturday night. And it, uh, it causes more like increased inflammation. So like a acute inflammation. So anything that normally would feel a little bit sore, like your old injuries or anything like that, usually feels extra sore on a day uh, after you've had any alcohol or anything like that. So I do just a little bit more foam rolling and a little bit more mobility and things like that. Because if you do, in my experience at least anyway, if I do nothing today, if I just say, oh, I'm just, I'm not going to do a workout today, I'll just wait till tomorrow, then all that acute inflammation and the aches and pains, it's worse tomorrow. And so just by doing something like what I'm doing here, and for me, you know, I foam roll the areas of my body that get really, really tight. So my, uh, my quadriceps, especially my vastus lateralis here, the hip flexors and my uh, lumbar extensors, my, the muscles down my back here, they get extra tight. Uh, on me and if I do nothing today if I didn't do what I'm doing now then by the time I get to tomorrow and go back for my regular workouts I'm going to be really really stiff and sore and I'll need even more of a warm-up so yeah what I've learned is and this is part of the reason why I almost don't drink alcohol anymore why it's very very rare that I drink people say to me how long does it take you to get over you know, a night where you have alcohol, and I say, probably about two weeks, because the truth is, the whole rest of my week this week is going to be affected by the fact that today, I'm not feeling great. Like tomorrow, I still won't be able to work out at 100%. I'll be doing a, probably a little bit of a reduced intensity workout tomorrow, which just has a lasting effect over the next week. And maybe two weeks is an exaggeration, but yeah, when you don't drink or very rarely, you really feel it. 
You know, I remember when I used to drink regularly and you'd think that you only have a hangover for a day or so, but when you don't drink at all, oh man, I feel it for days afterwards. I can just, I just don't feel 100% for at least a week. And that's okay, you know, I made my decision. I, I decided that I wanted to, you know, just have a little bit of fun with some friends and, you know, loosen up a little bit over the weekend. I haven't done it for um, since New Year's Eve. And I definitely didn't have, um, you know, an excessive amount of alcohol. I, th I can't remember how many drinks I had. It would have only been about four or five standard drinks. Um, but, you know, it's enough that I'm definitely, definitely not feeling like I could do a proper workout today. And, uh, yeah, I've just, I've, I'm old enough now and wise enough and I've had enough injuries that you just, one of the, one of the greatest things about age and wisdom is just learning to listen to your body and if your body's telling you eh, not today it's probably not a good day to really be going for it all right so i'm going to do just a little bit on my um lats before i move on to just a bit of spine mobility and hip mobility and i really mean it this uh when you, when you know how to do mobility like what I'm doing here and you know how to take care of your body, you, you, you just wouldn't believe how beneficial this kind of stuff is on a day like today, like as opposed to doing nothing at all. Another thing I should let you know as well that I've had today, I've made sure that I've had my electrolytes, drank heaps of water and, uh, you know, having my vitamins and my supplements to you know, give my body the best chance to recover. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'll move the camera a little bit, so you can see. And I will start with my hips. So it's just this idea of, you know, motion is lotion, just keeping the body moving. Just keep those joints active. How did you guys go? Anybody watching this video, how's your Easter weekend been? Did you eat or drink anything that you normally wouldn't? You know, I'm certainly not a saint. I do my very best to be healthy, productive, and, you know, active most of the time. But every now and then I'll eat some chocolate <laughs> and... You know, drink a tiny bit of alcohol to sort of enjoy some of those experiences with my friends and family. And my son had more than enough chocolate in the house, so I had a little bit of a nibble <laughs> on some of it myself. All right. I'll just do a few arm circles. A really good one for your spine as well is just to try and twist as far as you can like this a couple of times and then also just to lean to the side as far as you can and once you can't go any further you're going to twist back a bit and just hold it for 10 seconds change and then another really good one for the neck you just turn your head as far as you can and then lean it back as far as you can hold for 10 seconds these are really good for Offsetting all of the, you know, hunching that we do, sitting at our computers and looking at our phones and stuff. Oh. And that's it, team. Happy Easter. I'll be back into it tomorrow with my regular two workouts a day.